Hi, this is Chris at Comics First at Rhode Island Comic Con 2016. I'm here with Mike Henderson, co-creator and artist of Nailbiter. Thanks very much for having us here, Mike. Oh, I'm happy to. So, how are you enjoying the con so far? Loving it. This is my first time tabling at this show, so it's a different experience than the last two times I came, but it's been great. A lot of great fans. That's good to hear. So, with Nailbiter, um, it's one of my favorite series. Probably is my actual favorite series I've ever read. So, how did you get involved in the, the series from the get-go? Uh, Josh had had the idea kicking around for a while. Uh, there were a couple of other artists attached, um, and we had been working on Masks and Mobsters together at, uh, doing for Shadowline through Image. And uh, we were wrapping that up, and he just threw the idea out there because I didn't have any plans currently. And uh, I just did a couple of sketches. We did uh, six pages, sent it off to Image, and we were off and running within a, like a week. It was quick. It all just happened really fast. But it was it was great. I love the way it happened. <laughs> Very problem free. That's good to hear. Um, with the, I suppose one of the most interesting things about it is is the violence within it. Like the, the some of the images are quite stomach churning, even in the, the latest issue when Warren drags that guy into the, the, the into his basement and there's all these bodies there. Is there the challenge there to make the violence terrifying without it seeming a bit too much, like in, in constructing that? been a few times where I've gotten the script and I've had to dial it back and a few times where I've gone way over what Josh had planned. Um, we try to make the violence uh, kind of to punctuate things but it doesn't we know there's not a steady stream of all this gore you know it, it needs to punctuate something important um, so it's usually you know our cliffhangers are usually a bit gory you know something to keep people coming back for more but um, yeah we're pretty conscious about just how violent especially today you know all the things that are going on we're very conscious about how violent things are so we we try to keep it in check as best we can <laughs> while still keeping it fun you know and how much collaboration are you involved in with with the scripts like or, or, or does Joshua just send you them on and you kind of go just go with it uh, at first especially the first I would say five or six issues it was uh, I would get a full script you know we'd kick around some ideas layouts etc um, the scripts are a bit looser now. Um, I fill in a lot of the blanks. Um, I, would not, I don't want to say I write part of it, but um, some of it's loose enough where I'm able to just kind of manipulate things and uh, you know tell it in a different way than he was planning. So um, it's become much more fluid in you know the way it was. It was very cookie cutter early on. You know, it was writer, artist, colorist, but now it's much more, uh, much more fluid, and it's just it goes faster that way. And it's, you know, we've been doing it so long that it's just it's just the quickest, best way to do it. It's great when that happens. It usually doesn't happen. You know, you usually have collaborators kind of button heads a little bit, but this has been a, a really smooth ride. It's been over um, two years the series has been going. Um, have you been surprised by the success of it? Very much so. I mean, we... We did catch a nice wave, I think, when the, the book hat, when the book hit. There weren't too many horror books on the stands, and I think we came in at the right time. We're very aware of how lucky we were with that. Um, but I, we are surprised, have been surprised, by how many readers have stuck around rather than trade waiting all the time. Otherwise, we may not have been able to finish, you know, or to keep going, I should say. And, um, yeah, that's been great. Really grateful for that. And is there... Well, there is an end goal in mind, but do you have a specific number of issues you'd, you'd like to get to? We do have a specific number in mind. Uh, we do have a sort of a stopping point. Um, but we also have other stories to tell. So we may take a break for a while, you know, do some other things, and then come back to it. Um, but we knew, actually, right around issue six or so, we decided where, when and where we were going to end it, um, at least this portion of it. And... Uh, so yeah, we'll keep everybody guessing for now. And which is would be your favorite character to draw? And which is there a particular scene that you've you really enjoyed constructing and and, and drawing? Oh man, uh, I would say Warren is the most fun to draw, but Sheriff Crane is by far my favorite character. I love everything about Sheriff Crane. The attitude, her just constantly being annoyed with everyone. Um, I think my favorite scene probably was a, a flashback between the two of them in the hotel room. That was probably my favorite scene to do. I got to, I got to drag a lot of emotion out of that scene. That was a lot of fun. And just um, with your process, how, how much work goes into an issue? Like how, how long does it take you to do one issue? Uh, I would say start to finish. Most of my issues get done in about three weeks, give or take. I'm a page, page a day kind of guy. 
you know, I like to keep that rhythm, you know, keep a page, have a page half finished when I start work the next day. Um, you know, we've, Josh is doing other things, I'm doing other things, so it's slowed down a little bit, but I would say, you know, man hours, three weeks for an issue. That's pretty typical of most artists, I would think. And with, uh, I read last year your, um, your Secret War story with uh, Doctor Strange Punisher, and I absolutely love that. Is there a particular uh, um, series or a character that you'd like to, to, to try? Uh, oh yeah, Adam Warlock. Adam Warlock is my number one on my bucket list. Yeah, so I've uh, I've lobbied Marvel a little bit, but not maybe not enough. someday I'll get on that. And um, just before we wrap up, just want to ask you. You mentioned that you've got other things coming up. Is there anything you'd like to tell all your fans out there? Oh, I wish I could. Yeah, it's all all I'm doing. I'm in the design process right now, so it's super early. Uh, yeah, I don't have anything to announce. Sorry, <laughs> I would have loved to have left you with something. That's fair enough. Well, thank you very much for your time, oh, you Mike. Yeah, okay. Uh, so this is uh, Chris from Comics First at Royal Island Comic Con. You can catch us on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, YouTube, and of course, comicsverse.com. Thank you. Bye.